So as you've already heard, both sides of the aisle, they have millions of dollars in super PAC support this election year. But there's one group out there with a pretty unique message. Incumbents beware. The campaign for primary accountability doesn't discriminate. Lawmakers with an easy path to re-election are being put on notice. And one outside group is putting big money into disrupting the political system. Leo Lindbeck is the creator of this anti-incumbent super PAC, and he joins me now. Leo, it's good to have you here, and really interesting, as we're saying, we know when we've been tallying up from both sides what they've revealed about the super PAC money that's out there. Uh, you have given over one million dollars of your own money here and until recently had never voted, as you say, in a primary election. Why was this so appealing to you? Why did you want to get involved and do this? Well, Thomas, I think the, the root of the problem that we have in Congress is this cycle of incumbency, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with incumbents per se or incumbency per se, right? The problem is that incumbency shouldn't be an entitlement. Congressmen should have to compete for their seat every time. And the only place you can have that competition in 85% of the districts is in the primary. So we focus on creating competition in the primary, and it's both parties, right? The, both parties have been responsible for this massive centralization of power mm -hmm. in Washington. So we're, we're taking on both. All right, so let's give an example of this, because the campaign for primary accountability is against, as you talk about, this political entrenchment. It's not against experience. Uh, right. But one example that uh, we have here is Silvestre Reyes, a Democratic congressman in your state, lost his primary, uh, hurt in part by ads that were shown from the super PAC. Did you expect that kind of impact so soon? And because of that, as an example, do you expect to see more of your effort working across the nation? Well, we've always viewed this as a long-term uh, project, right? This is not something where we can suddenly ch break the cycle of incumbency in one, one cycle. Uh, we've really uh, tried to go in and figure out how do we take on these really entrenched folks like Sylvester Reyes and show the voters that they can get rid of these folks. And he had a credible challenger. He, he, did not, he was not popular in his district, but normally he would have just won because he had money advantages, name ID advantages. So we came in to just equalize the playing field and really give voters a choice. Leo, how do you want to frame your timeline then moving ahead as you look ahead to get this movement to have more attention uh, for the foundational message of what you want to do to bring back you know, new voices, competitive voices uh, to the Hill? What's the timetable for you? Well, we think the, the really big opportunity is in 2014. We're continuing to work in 2012. We're continuing to learn, build our organization, our capability. But 2014 is the big opportunity. Right now, everyone is focused on the presidential election, right? It's, it, but we're not, we're not a monarchy, right? We're, we're a democratic republic. And what's going to happen is whoever's elected, whoever goes to the White House, Congress is still going to be broken. So in 2014, this is going to be really clear. And we think we'll be able to come in with two more years of preparation, come in really big, and have a dramatic impact on the way that Congress functions. Leo Lindbeck. Leo, nice to have you on today. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Thomas.